Hello everybody and welcome back. Repentance is finally out. It's finally here. I have been playing the ever living hell out of it. Today, I am not going to do an episode. Um, depending on what you guys want, I might do a series on Repentance. So far, I don't have any intention of doing so. I have been playing the game for about 20 hours straight, 24 hours straight, maybe even more. I have been on my journey to unlock the secret stuff with all of my fairy characters. I unlocked it with Eden, Keeper, Apollyon, and Forgotten. You can see here with the Forgotten, I kind of messed up at the end. I still got the thing though. So I'm just going to jump straight into it. Spoiler warning, this is going to spoil some of the most important stuff in the game. The ending, etc. You've all seen it if you come here. Today, I will be talking about how to unlock the red key, how to use the red key, how to get the red key on every single run. What you see here is when I click E, I will swap into another set of characters. I will go through the characters that I have, plus a few others. So, briefly, uh, briefly I will explain. After you kill the witness, which is this little knife with the blood around it, red around it, um, you want to just go the straight path through the normal floors all the way to the depth too. You then will see a little door at the start of depth too, which you will have to come back to. Now you can always come back because on the depth too, or whatever alternative floor of the depths, there will be a skull on the floor, which will have a little cross on it or a little X, if you will. You blow it up, you get a fool's card. You want to go get the Polaroid or the negative, come back to the start, and a door will open that will send you into Mausoleum. At the Mausoleum boss, you will find an item called that note. Now, from here on, it's pretty simple. You just clear the floors all the way back. Now, once you go back the first time, you will come to a new spot called Home, which it's a small, no enemy zone with, with the um, opening to the two final bosses in the game. When you come here, you will go into your mom's room and unlock uh, the red key. Now, you can only use this one time on any character that you like. I would go for the lost first because I'm not, because the lost is insanely hard to play it already. So, get him out of the way get the red key, to out, red key out of the way. Now what you will do to get the red key again on every other run, remember you have to kill the witness first before you can do this on any character. They have to have killed the witness first. You want to drop a trinket in any item room and then come back to the same item room once you have gotten the dad's note. And it will allow you to get a new little usable item called a uh, key piece or something like that. Which will work as a one time red key that you can use to unlock any of these characters. Now I am briefly going to go over or show you what they do. We have my favorite character, Eden. Which is good old Eden. Eden, nothing, nothing special about him except that. Rerolls on rerolls, on rerolls. Every time you take damage, you will reroll. Uh, this is Eden's thing that you unlock after killing the beast, the little spacebar item that I have now. But he rerolls every time he takes damage. Which is super, super, super cool. That is Eden, that is all he does. It's awesome. It's amazing. We have Keeper, Better Shops, Greed is good. I will quickly go over what he does as well. He now only has two health. And as you can see, when we kill an enemy, they spawn a little coin that will disappear after some time. You wanna pick these up. You wanna get all the money. You don't need keys. Well, you still do need keys, but there's a little gimmick. I'm not gonna go for these enemies too much. I just want to show you 
the gimmick with Keeper. Sometimes it drops nickels, sometimes it drops dimes. But you want to get as much money as you can, because every item on Keeper will now cost money. That's right, every item. And when I say every item, I mean every item. Boss items, devil items, item room items, etc, etc. I'm not so sure about chest items, I haven't found out yet. Probably not, but... As you will see, this costs money. Boom. That is Keeper for you. He gets money, you need more money. Everything costs money, plus, plus items cost money, etc, etc. We then have Apollyon, which now has a little usable item in the corner called Abyss. Now, you'll see this little red fly surrounding Apollyon. This is your new damage dealing. Familiar, since your void is now taken from you. Uh, I'm just going to restart until we get an item room. So with Abyss, you will get more flies. The flies actually improve the more you get. They will deal more damage. That's really all with Apollyon. There isn't much to talk about. It's only really this little gimmick, but it's very cool either way. And then we have what I think is the coolest thing in Isaac history, the Forgotten. This is the Forgotten. This is the character people thought to be Eden, but actually you play as the soul and you use the Forgotten itself as a projectile. This will deal damage to enemies when you throw it at them. You can still charge up the bone. It is super, super, super cool. This is without a doubt my favorite character in this new uh, DLC. Now, one thing I forgot to go over is you can actually hear uh, Isaac's dad voice in this part of the thing. Let's hear. Normal one, right? It's not really that it matters, but I think it's cool. Because, as we found out, it's just a bedtime story for Isaac. Now, so far, I have only unlocked these four. I do know what Isaac and uh, Cecil do. So Isaac, he will get more stuff, but he can only have eight items at a time. A Cecil will no longer fly, but he will have a full brimstone, which will deal a little less damage and it's a little slimmer. That is all I know for now, guys. I am on my hardest journey to get further. Please, in the comments below, also do tell me which one you want to see next. I'm thinking about doing Samson, Eve, Boo Baby Judas, or Kane. I don't care much about Maggie, Isaac, Nick, Esau, Bethany, or Lily, for now. But, that is all for me guys, thank you so much for tuning in, see you next time.